Alright, what is up? This is Little Plays back for Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. So today, guys, we're trying out a brand new mod. It's going to be the Super Saiyan False version of Goku mod, or I guess the False Super Saiyan mod, whatever you want to really call this. It's over Super Saiyan God Goku. Very fitting. This is from movie number four, Lord Slug. This is going to be awesome. And I know it doesn't look like much right now. It doesn't look like, you know, the actual transformation or whatever you really want to call this, because he's currently in his base form. This is actually a transformable mod that you can actually just like, boom, go Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan false. <laughs> I don't really know what to call it at this point. Seriously, like, I guess just false Super Saiyan FSSJ is like the official name, even though it's non-canon. But this is so fucking awesome. Created by J-Rod Gamer. Shout out to this guy. I'll link all his stuff in the description below. I think he has like a Twitter and a channel. So it always makes it easier whenever uh, modders have like all their links and everything for like their YouTube. You give them full credit other than just like, you know, the little mod, I guess, website for Xenoverse mods. But I cannot wait to get into it. There have been so many new mods that have come out recently. And the reason why I haven't been covering them is because I've been focusing on Dragon Ball Fusions. You guys already know, more Dragon Ball Fusions, I think, resuming tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to try this new schedule where I might, like, alternate back and forth between Xenoverse mods or Xenoverse 2 content, you know, in a sense. I don't really know what to call it at this point. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But I'm going to go ahead and choose this character right now, and we're going to try him out. It's going to be so fucking hype. And you guys already know, I have to go against Lord Slug. Like, look at this man. His fucking big-ass bulge going on there. What the hell? <laughs> but before we get started, guys, do me a huge favor. And hit that like button to reach 15 likes on this video. It'd be amazing. I really appreciate it. Plus, if you guys want to see more Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 content on this channel, as well as continuation of the mod series. So it's only fitting that we go to the West City Ruins. I really want to get this movie atmosphere going. And like I said, there have been so many new movie mods, uh, I guess, that have come out recently. Like the last one I covered, which was the Tapion mod from Wrath of the Dragon. Uh, I believe that one was of uh, Thanksgiving, I want to say. Was it Thanksgiving that I covered that? I can't remember exactly, but it was so fucking... It's just so cool. And there's actually a mod where you can separate the character slot or whatever for this uh, character in particular. But I wasn't able to cover it and uh, get that working because I would have to learn like a new tool set and all that shit. But we're going to fuck up Lord Slug right now. And here it comes. Wait, can I transform? Oh, no, I can't transform yet. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me charge up my key. All right, let's do it now. Oh, shit. This is it, boys. Oh, my God. That looks so fucking cool. Okay, so basically, he's got, like, this Kaioken golden uh, kind of aura tint that's going on with him. His hair is, like, a reddish, orange, brown color. Like, I don't even know what you could consider it. But it just looks so fucking dope. Like, it's clean. It's very polished. And it fits, I feel like, the Super Saiyan God aura and just this character... Uh, that he has the basis over works really well. I think that's what he used, um, you know, to separate whenever I said the character slot. Because you could have it as a separate character slot, which I really wanted. I'm thinking about it right now. I wanted that so badly so that I could have, like, Tapion versus him. Or, you know, I mean, I could still do that. But adding more characters in this game, like I said, it's going to be the, um, I guess, like, dawn of a new, I guess, revolution for mods and all that stuff. I don't really know what to consider it, but... Uh, the game looks really nice on this monitor that I recently just got. It's still, uh, I guess, the window of 720p, like 1280 by 720 that I have going on here. But uh, pretty much, it just looks a lot cleaner. This monitor is fucking awesome. I'm so glad I got this. You know, super cheap too. But yeah, always got to take advantage of those Black Friday or Cyber Monday deals. Just any deals that you can find on like Amazon. Always got to take advantage of those because they're fucking super good at, uh, you know, certain times. So we're going to go ahead and choose them one more time. And we're going to go to, uh, actually, you know what? We'll fight Lord Slug once more just because I feel like he doesn't get enough uh, airtime, if you know what I mean. <laughs> we're going to go to the planet of the Namekians because this is his homeland. And Lord Slug, he's a weird character, okay? He's kind of like Goten, um, not really getting a lot of, I guess, attention in a sense because nobody really gives a fuck about him. But I'm just really excited to be covering, like, movie mods and all that stuff. You know, this it's just so fucking cool. Like, I cannot wait for this new one that's coming out pretty soon. I think created by Zan, where he's actually doing the Super Android 13 mod pack or something like that. Like, all these, like, movie mods, like, all the ones that I've wanted in this game. I just wanted some movie-based characters in this game, and we weren't getting them because we only got like a limited amount. I think Turles and Lord Slug, and even, I would even throw in like maybe Cooler were like the big main uh, movie characters that we finally officially got in this game. And that's what this game was all about. Xenoverse 2 was just a heavy emphasis on the movies more than anything, because they've already covered, you know, GT, 
Um, and that's the one thing about the video games that I love is the fact that we always get all the, I guess, non-canon content, which is really cool because fucking it's it's the game. You can do whatever the hell you want. And Bandai Namco is just like, uh, screw it. We're going to take into consideration like everybody's feedback. So hopefully uh, you guys did the feedback thingy majigger. I don't even know what it was really called. It was for Xenoverse 2 where um, pretty much... You got to go in there, voice your opinion, give some recommendations, and, you know, new DLC ideas and all that stuff. And speaking of the DLC, we only got, what, like 20 days left? And I'm getting fucking destroyed by Lois Lincoln. These fucking stretchy arms, Mr. Fantastic looking ass. Can I just kill you real quick? I want to do a cool finisher. But, yeah, I'm really excited for uh, the DLC with Kaba and Frost. And I don't know who else is going to be in there. I think it's like Super Saiyan God, Kaioken, which is another mod I really want to try out too. But I feel like I'm just going off in tangents and going off in track. I'm go working off almost no sleep, so I apologize if I just don't know what's going on. And plus, I'm just trying to get this uh, video recorded for you guys to have today because I'm working on some cool Dragon Ball Fusion shit. Just get ready for it, because I'm excited. I'm excited about it, and I was excited about this mod too, so very nice stuff. I'm gonna cut the video a little bit short today, because I got home late and everything. Just go ahead and follow, and you know, just give all your support to J-Rod Gamer. Did a fantastic job on this mod. Uh, really liked it. Very clean, polished. You guys know I'm a sucker for a clean and polished mod, and that's pretty much gonna do it. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.